Well, hello and welcome to the Halloween episode of How Far Can It Go? A series in which I take some less competitive Yu-Gi-Oh archetypes and see just how far up the Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel rank ladder I can climb with them. And this Halloween we're going back to the basics, representing the one Halloween decoration everyone has. Skeletons. Spooky scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. That's right, it's time to play some Skull Servants. This has been something of a meme deck for a while now. We started life from a measly level 1 vanilla monster with 300 attack and 200 defense, and it slowly turned into an archetype whose ultimate payoff is a monster that gets 1000 attack points for every skunk servant in your grave. So it's a good thing every card in the archetype becomes skunk servant while in the graveyard, meaning it can get to some crazy attack power. But yeah, that's basically all it has going for it. But sometimes that's all you need. So let's get to the deck profile and see how you can set up a really big chungus. Starting off with two copies of the original Skunk Servant, which is still a mainstay in the deck. Mostly because of another card that can send it specifically and another card from your deck or hand to the graveyard. Next I play two King of the Skunk Servants, the boss monster of the deck and as I said before, it gains 1000 attack points for every Skunk Servant and King of the Skunk Servants in your graveyard. Also when it is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can banish a Skunk Servant or King of the Skunk Servants from your graveyard and special summon it back to the field. But since this is a going second deck whose goal is to OTK, this effect will rarely ever see use. After that is one White Mare, and it and every other monster in the archetype share the same effect, which is that they become Skunk Servants in the graveyard. And its other effect is that you can discard it and activate one of the two following effects. You can either target one of your banished Skunk Servant or White Mares and return it to the graveyard, or do the exact same thing but for Lady and White and King of the Skunk Servants. And since the deck tends to banish those cards to activate some effects, it's nice to have a card that returns them to the graveyard and also fills up the graveyard with additional Skunk Servants. Next is 3 copies of White Prince, which if sent to the graveyard can send one Skunk Servant and one Lady in White from your deck or hand to the graveyard which is a nice and easy way to fill out your graveyard with Skunk Servants, so it's a definite 3 off. And it's not once per turn, although I can only resolve its effect twice because of the number of Skunk Servants and Lady in White I have in deck. But still, you want to see this card more often than not, so I play 3 of them. And its second effect is that you can banish 2 Skunk Servants and this card from your graveyard to special summon a King of the Skunk Servants from your deck. And it's also not once per turn. The cost of the effect may be high, reducing the number of Skunk Servants in your graveyard by 3, but sometimes it is worth it to put another body on board, especially if your graveyard is already set up. And like seen before, there are ways to return them to your graveyard, so while not ideal, it's a welcome effect to have. Following that we have 3 copies of White Baking, and its effect says if a level 3 or lower zombie monster you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can discard this card to prevent the destruction. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add two monsters from your deck to your hand, whose names are either Skunk Servant or they mention it in their text, except for white baking, and then discard one card. So it's another pretty easy to trigger search and graveyard setup effect. But since this is a newer card, it's once per turn so it's not as broken as it seems, but still pretty good. Next up is 3 copies of White Lord, another newer card with two once per turn effects. The first is... If you have Skunk Servant or King of the Skunk Servants in your graveyard, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard and send cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard up to the number of Skunk Servants and King of the Skunk Servants in your graveyard, and that includes this card. Another good way to quickly fill up your graveyard, but since it is random, you might not get what you want in there. And its other effect is you can banish it from your graveyard and target one of your Skunk Servants or King of the Skunk Servants in your graveyard and special summon it, which is a straight upgrade from White Prince's effect, since it only requires one banish from your graveyard. And yeah, both of these effects are pretty good, so no reason to run any less than 3 of them. Then we have 2 copies of Lady in White, which says face up level 3 or lower zombie monsters on the field except Lady in White cannot be destroyed by battle. Also they are unaffected by spell and trap effects. And that spell and trap protection is awesome, it saved me plenty of times. Next is 3 copies of Uni Zombie, pretty much a staple card in any zombie deck, so I don't think there's any need to explain it. 
finally for the white cards is one copy of white princess, which if normal or special summoned can send one white prince from your deck to the graveyard. And as a quick effect, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard and all the monsters currently on the field lose 300 attack and defense for each of their levels or ranks till the end of the turn. Which are both nice effects but it doesn't warrant running more than one copy of the card. And finally for the monsters I play one Mezuki, which is another way of resurrecting monsters from the graveyard without reducing the number of scound servants there. For the spells I run one Raigeki, one Harpy's Feather Duster, one Card Destruction, one Monster Reborn, one Foolish Burial, two Reasoning, three Dark World Dealings, one One for One, one Lightning Storm, one Burial from a different dimension, two Kong by the Graves, and one Forbidden Droplet. And for the traps I run 3 copies of infinite impermanence, so a pretty basic going second spell and trap package. And for the extra deck, which I didn't really use all that much but it's still nice to have those cards, just in case, I play a Korong Dragon, Psy Frame Lord Omega, Shiranui Shogun Saga, Trishula, Baron de Fleur, Gagaga Cowboy, Link Kuribo, probably the most important extra deck monster, Nightmare Cerberus and Nightmare Phoenix, Vampire Sucker, IP Mascarena, Dark the Dark Charmer, Nightmare Unicorn, Vampire Fascinator and Excess Code Talker. And that's the deck, now let's see how far I can go with it. And as always, I'll stop when I either reach Master Rank or I drop a rank. Ah, fellow zombie player. Unfortunately I can't let this go through. Ah, okay, he still has some plays. Ah, that one doesn't do anything. Oh, <laughs> it's especially not gonna do anything now. Okay, let's first get rid of the back row. Yeah, sure, you can get a monster back. And it's time to send it back to the graveyard. Alright, he can also bring something back. Does he have anything? Oh, an acro face. Uh, this might be a problem. Oh good, only one Skunk Servant card is banished. Right, then let's send something to the graveyard. Let's go with White Prince, so I can dump a Skunk Servant and my last lady in white. Shame I have to spend my normal summon on this. Let's link it away. And now it's time for some searching. Let's get the king. And also the lord. Dump the king since I can't normal summon it anymore. And let's see how good my mills will be. Oh yeah, those are good. Yep, should be enough damage. And it's time for the return of the king. Of course, let's see if he has anything to stop my attack. Nope, looks like I'm good to go. Alright, another rank up game, let's go. <laughs> Hope he lets me go second. Oh uh, yeah. Well, this just might fill my quota for at least one Dark Magician duo in the video. Hmm, 
do I need two infinite impermanences? Ah well, let's risk it. And let's also get White Lord in there. Phew, those are good draws. Hey, what? Wait, what exactly does he do? Ah, prevent searching. Yeah, this might be a problem. If I didn't have infinite impermanence, I just hope he doesn't have anything that can negate it. Ah, and here comes Dark Magician. He can't negate anything, right? Oh, looks like I'm good. Yeah, first off, let's negate that Ryo. And let's see what I'll get from this reasoning. A white more day? Eh, yeah, could be worse. And it's time for some graveyard setup. First, of course, let's get white baking there. Let's see, I already have white lord and king of discount servants, so let's get ourselves a white princess. And yeah, another white prince. I have the means to put them both in the graveyard. Let's reduce his monster's attack a little bit. And let's see if I can draw something else useful. Well, those are good cards, but not in this situation. Anything else good at the top? Yeah, I don't really need that. And finally, let's see what my mills with white ward will be. Oh boy, that's a lot of scum servants in the graveyard. And let's finally bring the king back. Oh boy, 13,000 attack. No, that's a lot of damage. Oh boy, this guy chose to go second. Is that what I think it is? Well, at least I can set up my graveyard a little bit. And let's set the Imperm, and nothing else I can do right now. And I already lost a name in the grave, nice. And yeah, that's what I feared it was. Okay, this might bite me in the ass, but I think I'll negate this. Maybe his hand is bad, so that's why he used it. Okay, only one Tempai. So far, at least. Yeah, here comes the Synchro Summon. Oh, that's it. Yeah, looks like I was right in negating that pot. Okay, and let's fire off that Mord.
You know, in retrospect, I should have used Princess first. Oh well. And let's try running it over. Oh wow, that worked. Let's get some protection by bringing Lady in white back. Or you know, I guess not. Well, let's see if a 4000 attack point beater will be enough to protect me. Ah shit, looks like he's gonna pop off now. Oh wow, he died? Well, good news for me. Well, I'm sure he can set up now, but the battle phase is over, so I'm not really worried anymore. Oh boy, two big dragons. Hopefully I'll be able to get enough damage in next turn. Oh yeah, this might help with that. Let's pump these numbers up. But man, I'm still worried about that back row. Mm, let's do it like this. Let's go for Phoenix. And now I can dump another name in the grave. And let's go for this one. Who boy, do I know how to hit them. Now unfortunately I don't have any white lords in the graveyard left, so this is gonna reduce the attack number a little, but I think it should be enough. And hopefully the other back row is nothing to worry about. Oh yeah baby! I out damaged them by one going first, nice. Ah oh boy, it's Kashtira. Hopefully he won't block all my zones. Ah, dangerous as well. <laughs> Move over American Sniper, there's a new player in town. Huh, that's it? Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, let's clean the board up a little. Ah, he can protect itself. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, this might be a problem. Well, let's see what I can do. Ooh, I thought of a funny play. Let's bring back Lady in white. Now, can anyone tell me what you get when you add 5, 3 and 1? That's right, you get Frishuma, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Oh, was that a Rageki in your hand? Well, say goodbye to that. Ah, that was fun.
And it's finally time to rank up to platinum. Maybe. Hopefully. Oh wow, did he brick or something? Well, only one way to find out. Uh, let's see if I can get any information out of his hand. Huh, is he playing a starter deck or something? Okay, let's save this monster reborn for later. Use Lord. Okay, Mizuki and Unizombie are in the grave, that's not bad. Now oh, let's see what else I can get. Ah, he's playing Numeron, so that's why he didn't have any going first plays. Oh well, I guess it's time to end this man's whole career. And that should be more than enough. Oh yeah. Ah shit, one day of peace, meaning I won't get to do any damage next turn. Well, let's just set a couple of cards and try again next turn. Oh boy, I'm not liking the looks of this. Well, at least I can use White Prince's effect. Ah, great. Three back row. Who knows what that is. Well, let's try reasoning. Oh wow, first hit. Uh-uh. Don't like the look of this. Well, let's try it again. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Let's go for Link, Karibo. And now time for some searching. Yeah, scratch that. Can I at least draw something good? Oh yeah, that's not bad. I don't think I'm gonna need this infinite impermanence. Now let's get rid of those cylinders. It was the middle one, right? Okay, it's time to hopefully end this. Yo, what the hell is this? Wait, he took my monster reborn? And he used it to bring back Obelisk? What the hell? I didn't know you can do that. Well, looks like he bought himself another turn. Let's bring back Lady in White for some protection and hoping it won't be enough. Oof, another set card. Let's try getting rid of it. Yeah, Baron should do just fine. Ah, oh, it was nothing to worry about. But still, best to be sure. And finally, let's end this. Man, that was a wound ride. Okay, how do I deal with this? Well, first let's see what I can get away with. 
Okay, that's a good hit. How about this? Oh good, it's going through. Hmm, I get the feeling I might need Mizuki in Grave. And let's try dumping white baking from my hand. Good, still going through, nice. Let's see if he'll take this bait. Ah oh, yeah, that's nice. Tracer might be a problem, so let's get rid of it. Hmm, that's still not enough damage. But if my math is correct, this should do it. Now let's hit him with 1-2 combo. First attack with one king of the scum servants. Now the second one. And let's use Link Koribo to get the other one in the graveyard. Giving him another 1000 attack points. And that's exact game. Okay, my first rank up game in Platinum. Let's see if I can make it on my first try. Oh boy, going second against Labyrinth. Not ideal. Hmm, what will he get? Oh boy, that's not good. Oh, he went for the searcher. I'll try dumping from the hand first. And now from the deck. Let's try getting a king. And of course he has it. Let's see if I can get some good mills. Yeah, those are cards I don't want in the graveyard. Okay, let's try this. Go for a lady in white. Now oh, let's return some names in the graveyard. And let's go for Trishuna again. And let's get rid of that big booty monster. Alright, only zombies can attack. Oh well. Well, what goes around comes around, I guess. Well, let's get rid of that thing. Huh, he's shaming that now? Interesting. Yeah, that won't do anything now. Hmm, 
Man, the recursion in this deck is insane. Well, let's see if reasoning will work. Oh, that's a nice hit. Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, those were nice hits. Okay, this time let's bring Lady in white first. And now for King of Discount Servants. Let's see how this one work. Huh, I've never actually seen the second part of the effect be resolved. Well, first and foremost, let's flip her up. Let's see if he'll use it. Ha! <laughs> Looks like he didn't read carefully enough. Huh, or maybe he just wanted to summon him. Either way, not a problem. Too bad I can only attack that guy. Yeah, I'm gonna leave my board as it is. I don't think I can make anything better. Oh, nice, I get another turn. Ooh, that's a good draw. Will he target the right monster this time? <laughs> of course not. Ah, going for a draw. Hopefully it's nothing good. Let's adjust the levels a little bit. Let's bring back on level 3. And go for Baron. Yeah, no point stopping that now. I just destroy his other monster. And attack for game. Oh boy, and I'm at a rank down game. Could this be the end of the journey? Let's find out. Oof, and it's against one of the meta decks right now, you bell. Well, let's try baiting out that fusion. Still nothing? Can I run it over? Ah, fuck, I just remembered. They can't be destroyed by battle and I take the damage. Shit. Well, let's see what I can do in main phase 2. Wow, still letting everything through. Ah yeah, that means nothing now.
Well, he'll have to stop this, I think. Yep, there it is. Well, I can just hope he'll finish me off fast. And not in a good way. Huh? That's it? Wait, he's doing that now? Is it not a quick effect? Let's see if he'll take the bait. And now if he stops any of my other effects, it's basically game over for me. Seriously, why is he letting all of this go through? Well, I just hit him for some big damage. That was a weird game. Yeah, I should probably stop that. Oh look, it's another deck good at OTK. Wonder why he went first. Now the question is, does he have machine duplication? Yeah, of course he does. They always do. Well, I should be able to deal with this. This should force out infinity. And now I can start playing for real. Let's see how he'll get rid of it. Ah oh yeah, that works. Oh boy, I might be in danger. Wow, not using the effect. Interesting. Ooh, this could be good. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And that's enough damage. Looks like bones can break machines pretty easily.
and another rank up in platinum. Didn't think I'd make it this far. Let's see if I can do it. Raid Raptors, eh? This could be bad. Oh, and Phantom Knights as well. But can he do anything with just those two? <laughs> well, I guess not. Huh, jokes on you, this was actually a good hand to get discarded for me. Ooh, and the new draws are good as well. Ah, oh, he has some grave effects too. Ah, it's Tyrolemance. Well, shit. Well, if nothing else, I can fill out my grave now. Let's see if it don't be enough. Oh boy, here it comes. Shadow Beast. Wait, did he draw his Tyrolemance? Oh, I guess not. And so it begins. Ah, oh, he's also playing White Swans in there. Ugh, oh, that's some other bodies on board. Okay, here's the new Minerva. And the old Minerva. And Snow, of course. And he can still keep going. Okay, this much I can deal with, I think. Let's see if I'll draw something good. Eh, that's not particularly good. Huh? What the hell does he have? Oh, that thing. What does it do? <laughs> it doesn't stop me from bringing things back from the graveyard, so I don't have a problem with it. Let's try it again. Oh, this is not bad. Well, let's at least negate those two monster effects. And now it's my turn to mill some cards. Oh, those weren't bad. Let's get some spell and trap negation. Oh boy, it's a good thing I did that. But yeah, he has no. Well, I guess that's it. Huh, he's getting rid of Lady in white. He may come to regret that. Ah oh yeah, Winda is no problem.
And now he shouldn't have anything to negate this. Ha! <laughs> Get over that, fool! Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh yeah! That's why we don't mess with the king. And I'm at another rank down game. Let's see if this is it. Oh, Dark Magician again. Yo, wait, is that Kazajin? And the song mode as well? Well, this guy is certainly cooking something. Man, all those draws and he only has a big fish and a set card to show for it. Eh, should be easy. Oh wow, he actually conked the correct level. Let's see if I'll draw anything good. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Ah, I forgot exactly what the fish does and I don't want to read it, so I just negate its effect. And let's get another bunch of skunk servants in the grave. Oh, nice, Mezuki was milled. Yeah, first let's get the lady in white for some protection. And too bad there aren't any kings in the graveyard, so I have to use prints. So unfortunately you won't be an OTK. Well, let's hope he doesn't have any more than one. Oh, looks like he doesn't. Nice. I mean, might as well. Oh great, another one. Ah, oh, here comes the big guy. Yeah, I just have to bring back King of the Scum Servants and that should be my game. Yup, as expected. And here we go, third time's the charm. Let's see if this will be the one. Oh wow, making me go first. That doesn't bode well. Eh, 
Uh, might as well stop that. Now look as he max sees me. <laughs> Called it. Ah, he just had to be the vanilla one. Well, not much chunks I can do. And now he's gone as well. My last line of defense. Oh, let's see what we're up against. Ah, oh, galaxies. Yeah, they also have that new big chungus that hits for god knows how many damage, so this should be game. Ah, yeah, that's the one. Huh, only 4500. Surely he has a way to make the number bigger, right? Ah, yeah, there it is. And there you have it folks, I managed to get to Platinum rank 3 with this deck. And honestly with all the decks that are running rampant this month, I was expecting I wouldn't even be able to rank up to Platinum 4. But with some luck and skilled gameplay of course, I managed to do it. So I hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you next time. Bye!